<laughs> Alright, nice. Good stuff, Go! Alright, now... Uh, is this team tournament? Yeah, this is going to be winter semis, right? I'm assuming. Kel's just Can won a winner's a quarters. Alright. I'm going to be right back. Don't replace me with anybody. All right, stream. Okay, I was honestly convinced they were button checking. That's why I wasn't commentating. But let's go. We're here at game one. This is the Chicago Classic. Dart versus Kels. All right, sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, we're back. Anyway, as I was saying, this is the Chicago Classic matchup. The Wave Dash Wednesday finals of every Wave Dash Wednesdays and, you know, many EXPs and uh, all the tournaments in the Chicagoland area. These are undisputedly the two best players from Chicago coming up here to Milwaukee today. Dart versus Kells. Now, Kells is pretty comfortable playing Sheik in this matchup. Uh, it, it's definitely something he really makes you realize why Sheik is strong against Mars, you know? Uh, and again, I think this is part of why Kells can be so consistent throughout tournaments, is because, uh, depending on the matchup, he'll just play whatever the best matchup is. You know, he doesn't have to play Fox or, Mar or uh, Falco or wh whomever against Marth, which are arguably 50-50 matchups. He's going to play the one that gives him a slow It's kind of a Mewtwo King way of doing things. In fact, Kells really has the same stable of characters as Mewtwo King is. The Fox, the Marth, the Shield. Although he's more, definitely more Fox heavy. Anyway, Dart closing that out. It's looking still pretty close, I guess. Although Kells is kind of close to closing the stock out here on Dart. But if Dart can put together some stuff, yeah, see, if he'd gotten that up tilt, it would have been big. Um, so this matchup is definitely uh, easier for Sheik to combo Marth. But when Marth has Sheik above him, he can combo her. And we sort of just saw that there as I was explaining it. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Alright, so Dart, if you can close this out, it'll be pretty solid. <laughs> kind of swinging away is Dart. Dart is one of those guys he's content to swing. Goes for all four hits of the sword dance. What's up, everybody? I'm back. Alright, and uh, Dark getting a combo started, but not quite finishing it. Okay, there you go. Kind of a... Anytime I see a Mark do like a weird back air like that, I'm a little scared for them, but he makes it work. Honestly, I feel like back air is pretty good, I guess, in certain situations. When I play as Mark, I never back air, and I realize that. Yeah, like right there, I did a perfect back uh, platform drop to for back air. I love watching a Marth gratefully float around in back air or whatever. Okay, that's gonna be. A oh wow, that was a, a tricky situation for Dart. He really had to sweet spot the edge there. If he had gone too low, he would have died, obviously. And if he had gone too high, he would have given the ledge up to kill. So yeah, that was a good job. And on, on top of that, he, he was, was facing the wrong way. He was nearing at the edge, facing the wrong yeah. way. So he had to like fade back and then up the up. Very good presence of mind by him. Stayed. Uh, Dart's so good at like those just tiny little clutch like inputs. And through all of this, he's kept it close. He kind of it felt like he was at a pretty much a full stock disadvantage for a little while, and but he's keeping it close. Okay, Kells. I don't know what to think of this Ooh. right now. Okay, that wave dash through to Tipper. That's the thing. Sometimes you just have to swing when you're Marth. You just swing for it. Yeah, like I said, Marth, Marth and Falcon both. They just have that one move that you, you just gotta read them, and that's a stack. There's nothing else to say. 
I find it very funny that uh, O'Reilly and Vro are the ones sitting right behind here, as if they don't get to see this matchup enough. All yeah. of the, the Wisconsin players who never get to see this kind of player wandering around, playing friendlies. I'm sure more so they'll pour in uh, Yeah, as we, as we get down to closer. finals. Yeah. That's that's why I like being on commentary. I love being able to watch these games and and be able to talk about them as they're going on. Yeah, it's great. I mean, <laughs> dart off to a really early start. What would I be doing now if I was? I would just be sitting in the crowd and talking about these games, you know? Yeah. Might right. as well be here with you, sharing it with the fine stream. Exactly. Shouts to everyone tuning in to Victory Road. Absolutely. And uh, just to sort of reestablish for those who don't know, this is the end of the Wisconsin Melee Circuit. The winner yep. today is getting that pot bonus. They're going to be the circuit champion. Yep. Yeah, so we have uh, a lot of entrance today, plus $300 pot bonus. This is the, the final of, I believe, seven tournaments all around Wisconsin. Was it seven? Yeah, I was not sure of the exact number, but it was it might, a few. I think this is the seventh one. Okay, cool. There were six other ones. Very cool. So who were the victors of the the other events? Do you know? I know Fruit Loop won one, Kells won one, Mewtwo King two, Tapion won one, and there's maybe one other that I'm not thinking of. Um, I don't know who won a lot of them. Uh, I know Tapion won Final Gambit, Mewtwo King won Great Revival. And Kings of the North. Fruit Loop. Kings of the North? Oh, he was here for Kings of the North. Yeah, you remember that? Mewtwo yeah. King has been low-key murking this circuit. He, he didn't come for the finals, but he won a couple big ones. Yeah, Mewtwo King is actually friends with Inui um, yeah. on the MVG network, and so he comes out to random Wisconsin events just to take our money. Good back air there by Dart. I don't know. Uh, Tucker's got a spreadsheet somewhere that, that shows like all the winners. I'm sure yeah. he likes those too. I was just curious. I, I think between Mewtwo King, Kells, and uh, Fruit Loop, it's the majority. I know Tapion got one that was not attended by those players. Uh, otherwise, I'm not a good sure. But yeah, none of that matters now. We are in top 16. Oh! And most people have already been eliminated. I believe we're down to like the last, uh, at least top 8. This is winner semis here. Winner is guaranteed top 3. Loser Ooh. will be top 5. That was so good. Uh, and he's doing the up smash taunt in the center of the I stage. I love that because Marth's taunt is actually kind of lame. But that's cool. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> uh, the lucky taunt. Yeah. Lucky loves just charging up smash in the center of stage. Okay, this could be bad for Kel. No, he gets back to safe ground. But up tilt. Okay. Oh! Get wrecked. Through <laughs> the tree. Pokemon Stadium. Kels right is the, not pleased. He got caught like on, underneath the branch on that platform and just tippered. Uh, over here. I mean, that's right. his that's his own counter pick working against him. Yeah. I see a Fruit Loop warming up here, getting ready for. Uh, I'm assuming he's on the other side. Of Probably in winners finals. finals. Yeah. There's no. He's waiting. Okay. He's waiting to pit Mundungu. Wow, Mundungu beats Tapion. Uh, and he's in he's in winner semis on the other side. Okay, I being a Madison player, I can tell you guys how amazing Mundungu is. It's incredible. How what? How amazing he is. Mundungu? Yeah. I hope they're not sitting down to play over there. Um no, that they're probably doing just that. Alright, anyway, Kel's coming back to Pokemon Stadium. He's very content oh, okay, to play. They here. are warming up. He's very content to play here on this stage, and yep. he'll play Fox. It's kind of a Mewtwo King thing to do too, right? I mean, Mewtwo King, uh, whenever and people take him to Pokemon Stadium, he'll usually play Fox as well. It is, a, I mean, it's an incredible Fox stage. I Actually, get that. recently Mewtwo King, like for a, for a long time, for like maybe a year or two, he would go like Sheik game one, and then he, if he lost, he would go Marth FD. Yeah. And then stay Marth the rest of the set. Right, yeah, he definitely plays Marth here too. Yeah. Um, but Marth like, is strong on this stage. But now there's there's like a couple people like uh, PP and Armada that he doesn't like going to FD against for, for whatever reason. Yeah. And it, so he goes Fox Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. It's And I, it, it's a good stage for Fox, but honestly, I think this is pretty good for Marth too. 
So, I heard Dart comment earlier, uh, we were sort of talking about Pew Pew U versus Leffen in passing, and uh, yeah. game five of their set was on Pokemon Stadium, but it was Pew Pew U's pick. And I know Dart mentioned that he really does not agree with that as a pick yeah. for Marth. Although Marth is okay here, it's not the kind of state you want to go to against Fox. I don't know. Like, the, the only thing I think that a disadvantage for Marth on this stage that Fox kind of benefits from is the transformations. All of the transformations, yep. And the lower ceiling. That also hurts him, because he's not going to kill off the top of Fox's I suppose. The, the platform layout's pretty fine, though. It's like FD with a couple Yoshi Story platforms that you can combo off of. Yeah, so, yeah, Marth, Marth can do all his platform stuff. Yeah, he can tip her uh, pretty easily. Fox like, can't ride the stuff. edge either, you know? So it's sort of like a battlefield edge yeah, over there. exactly. The edge definitely benefits Marth. It makes it a little bit more linear to predict how Fox is going to recover. And, or Falco, and whichever And for a good majority animal. of the stage, you can just do, like, FD stuff in the middle. So, all like, right. it's, it's just sort of like, you know, you can kill a little bit easier off the top, but then again, like... That doesn't stop Cal Fox from being the best character anyway. So I agree. Down tilt. Okay, Cal is not going to... Oh, oh my gosh, he will he's still stack. alive. How? So this is what Kel's wanted last game. Yeah, okay. He, clearly, he settled into this counter pick. It took him a game to figure it out, but... Man, he is living... See, with this transformation, you got that angle. Yeah. Marth has that angle on Yeah, he's sides. that little poke down at you. It's crazy. Crazy talk. It's like the Yoshi's angle, but it goes deeper. That's... Alright, JV first time. <laughs> Kelly's not going to get 3-0'd like that. All business, too. Look at these guys. All business right now. Yeah, these guys definitely play a lot. They're good friends, too, I'm sure. I mean, I see them watching each other's games, and they encourage each other when they're playing against other people. But Definitely. I think they, they talk Marth stuff when Kels goes Marth. Yep. Yoshi. I mean, it's it's hard to be part of the Smash community and just like, you know, dislike the people that you play against day after day. No, people are generally very friendly, which is wonderful. Yeah. For all of those of uh, any of you out there, if you're a fan of Smash and you like watching this, but you haven't come out to a tournament, everyone is super duper friendly. You come out, have a good time, you'll enjoy it. Trust me. You will get beaten, but it's all in good fun. Yeah, <laughs> as long as you don't take losing too hard. You just have to learn to take it as a learning experience. Right. Just remember, only one person can win today. Yeah, there's going to be only one winner out of God knows how many people showed up. There is a decent amount. So, double dash. I'm glad to see Kel sticking with Fox here. After that last game, I was thinking maybe on a stage like this he would go back to Sheik because he's pretty comfortable in that matchup, but I like seeing Fox... I don't really like Sheik against Marth on this stage. Okay, that's fair. It's, it's... The matchup could go either way, but Marth just benefits so much from his platforms. And the edges. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. Gosh. And Dart taking the page out of Ken's book. Yeah. these side Bs. He has some very strong side Bs. Actually, um... I don't know if you ever watched him versus Shroom. I think it was at Big House. He does that. He does the two I, hits real quick, and it sucks them in behind him. And he yeah. can just forward smash them afterwards. That's definitely like the second or third time I've seen him do that this set already. That's definitely a dark thing. It looks like I've he seen was him just do that fishing for it. Like, he's like, I could have killed him like 40% ago, but whatever. So the thing about side B is it's kind of bad, but it's low commitment. So you're not risking that much by throwing it out there. Yeah, I can see that. I love the super late up air to up tilt too. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like one of the real secrets to being good with Marth is throwing out aerials as late as you possibly can before you hit the ground. All right, Kel's putting on some pressure here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's overall looking pretty close. Really now, good patience by Dart. Advantage Dart. Um. And this, if Dart wins this, I mean, it's over. He took the 2 1 loop. Yep. Kels has got to make the comeback if he wants to win. Oh, nice wave dash back Really air. nice. Wave dash, fast fall back air. That was like lightning. Grab? Yep. Okay. Atta. Really good movement right now by Kels. 
interesting to shine there. I, I would like to see him go for an aerial that he could have maybe comboed more percent off. Just because I feel like the shine didn't directly lead to anything. If he had set up an edge guard with that shine, I'm sure I would have called him amazing though. He's in winter semis for a reason. Many reasons. Yeah. Oh! I I really like that Kells uses a uh, running shine, turn around, wave dash back to grab left. Yeah, yeah. That's really hard to do. Yeah, it's especially quickly. It's a super efficient way to do it, though. <laughs> it's one of the fastest, I think. Yep. Besides, like, ledge cans, like a side B. Which is a lot riskier. Donkey? No, nope. I'm like smashing. Barely fast. Okay. Um, Kells, this is his last stock in his bracket if he can't win. But right now, he's got that up throw. He let Marth back down. Trying to put on some pressure. Dart is probably looking for a grab. Let's see. Oh, up it's air? An air? Shine. Okay, shine, shine. Doesn't like connect it. with the back air. That would have been That's going to be an up air. And he wants another. He gets Ooh, it. Ooh, found it. Really, really nice. The blind up air. I actually really like that on Yoshi's story. Just just fishing for it up there. And now the momentum is kind of in Kel's favor, right? He's won two games in a row as well. Yep. He's, he's getting his Fox warmed up for sure. And here we go. Found of Dreams. Neutral start. Let's go. Shine him. I think Kel's wanted that, that quick shine gimp, and he's not going to get it. He's going right. to... Dart's yeah. keeping him on. It's going to make him work for these stocks. Definitely. Ooh, let's see. Okay. Dart, again, was looking for a quick kill there, too, and Kel's kept him on this. So these two are just trading blows. Yeah, so Kells really, really wants grabs, and I think that's what Dart wants. Too. Ooh, good back air. Wow, nice. See, that's the power of back air. Yeah, it's it's really strong. It's you can hit with that low hitbox, and it sends him down. Good coverage from Dark there with the up air. And Kells Kells shine stall, keeping it just out of range. Yeah, of keeps him breaker. out of that. Oh, that's a bit tough. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a tough angle. That's a tough angle for sure. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a 50-50 whether you go for like ride the wall, the sweet spot, or you go a little bit high and drift in. Yeah. But with Marth there to slap at you, you know, it's... Marth can cover either way. option, though. It just depends on what he chooses to do. Okay, let's see. Kels needs to finish this. Oh, there okay, you go. good stuff, good stuff. Okay. He's only down by one stock here. This is game five of Winter Semis, guys. Uh, winner goes on to the winner finals and guarantee top three, and the loser is with the Sharks down there. Yeah, this right. is a really interesting set. Yeah, I, for the most part, it's been very close, with the exception of that one game that Kells ran away with on well, like, Stadium. Kells' first counter pick was like super dominant for Dart. Yeah, yeah, and it was then it, And then the second one, he like four stops. On the same it. stage, same character. Yeah, <laughs> it was so weird, so bizarre. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for Kellis. Oh my gosh. I think he oh. waited too long to do that. He didn't even mind. He was like, yeah, go for it. This. He waited too long for that F smash, though. He would have tippered him if he had gone for it right away. Let it rock. Ooh, go from the smash. edge. Not enough. That high ceiling. Dart using nice. his counter pick to his advantage. Okay, Kells. I'm not going to count him out. I'm not going to count the man out. There you go. Okay. Good patience there. But with every little hit that Dart gets, oh, reverse one jabs step him. closer. Yeah, Dart's, Dart's not so much fit, focused on finishing him off as he is on getting hits. Racking if, percent, if, yeah. he, if he sees the opportunity, oh, yeah, oh, with authority. Kel scratches his head. That's all he's got. And he's going to the loser's side. That was sick. Good stuff, Dart. 